This is Nick with logosbynick.com, and in today's tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create this vector halftone effect using Inkscape, where you take a single image or a single icon, kind of like a heart, and create uh, a larger image out of it, like you see here. I took the Inkscape logo and made it out of tiny little hearts using Inkscape. So that's what I'll be showing you how to do here in Inkscape. Let's, so let's uh, open this up. And by the way, if you'd like to know how you can make Inkscape appear dark and with these custom icons, I'll have a link to that information in the description section of the video. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started. We just want to make sure we're, we are all working on the same page here. So we'll go to File, Document Properties. We're going to set the display units to pixels. And uh, I'm going to turn off the page border and then close out of that. And then we'll go to View. Uh, we're going to want Custom Selected. And then we'll zoom in at 1 to 1. And then I'll open up the Align and Distribute menu with this button up here. Uh, we're going to want Last Selected chosen from that drop down. And then we'll open up the Edit Objects, Colors, Gradients, and Stroke menu with that button there. So the first thing we're going to do is create an actual heart that we can use as the icon for drawing the rest of the image. So uh, to do that, I'm going to create a square first. So I'll grab the squares and rectangles tool. Uh, but before I do that, I just want to come up here to the snapping menu. And where it says uh, snap to custom nodes, we want that turned on. And where it says snap smooth nodes, uh, turn that on as well. And then I'm just going to hold control and shift on the keyboard and click and drag to create a perfectly symmetrical square like that. I'll bring the opacity of it down a little bit, about in half. And I'm going to convert that to a path by going to Path, Object to Path. And now what we want to do is copy this. So we'll go to Edit, Copy, and then we'll go to the Circles and Ellipses tool. And I'm going to hold Control and Shift on the keyboard and click and drag to create a perfectly round circle like that. And we want to convert that to a path as well by going to Path, Object to Path. And then we'll go to Edit, Paste Size, and paste size, and that should make that the same width and height that this square is. And once we've done that, we can go to the select tool. And if you notice where these four where these four arrows are, not at the corners, but at the sides between the corners, there's nodes at each one of those points. We can go to the nodes tool, and I'll show you. There's a node each on each side. What we want to do is take this circle and snap it onto the corner of nodes of the square here. So what I'll do is I'll go back to the select tool. I'm going to grab the circle near this left node and just snap that onto this top left corner of the square. And then I want to duplicate that circle by hitting Control D. And then I want to grab the circle down by this bottom node and just snap this onto the bottom right corner of that square right there. Now we can click and drag over all of that and go to Path, Union. And then we can click on it again to get the rotation handles and then hold Control on the keyboard and just rotate it around one, two, three, three steps counterclockwise like that while holding control. So we end up with our heart shape and we can take the opacity of this and bring this up to 100% now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this off to the side right now. Uh, you know what, maybe I'll make this a little smaller. I'll hold control and shift and uh, just scale this down to about that size and put that off to the side now. What we wanna do now is grab the image that we wanna use for the heart here. Uh, what we're going to trace over with those heart icons. Um, for this, I used the Inkscape logo. For this tutorial, I'm just going to use a star because I don't have the Inkscape logo on hand right now. So I'm just going to create a star. This will work with anything, though. If you'd like to do this with your own logo or even with a photograph, as long as you take the photograph and convert it to black and white first using something like GIMP or Photoshop, it should work just fine. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do this with a star. I'll go to the stars tool and I'll click on uh, um, star instead of regular polygon up here. We're gonna want five corners, spoke ratio 0 0.382, rounded, let's change that to zero and randomize also set to zero. And then I'm just gonna click and drag to create a star and then I'll hold control and just bring the cursor straight up so we get that star sitting there like that. And then what I'll do is I'll convert that to a path by going to Path, Object to Path, grab the Select tool. And what I want to do is copy this as well. So I'm going to right click on this and go to Copy. And I'm going to create another rectangle. So I'm just going to click and drag to create another rectangle. And I'm going to make this white. And we'll convert this to a path as well. Path, Object to Path. And what I want to do now is go to Edit, Paste Size, and Paste Size. We want that to be the same size as that star right there. And then we can go back to our select tool, hold shift, click on the star and center it up on the uh, 
vertical and horizontal axis like that and then click off of it to deselect everything and that's that's uh, that rectangle we'll have to click on that and lower that one step so it goes beneath the star right there and what we can do now is click and drag over all of it over both of those objects right there and group them both together with this button that says group selected objects and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this heart I'm gonna right click that and go to copy I'll just put that off to the side, click off of it to deselect everything. I want to open up the layers menu now. So I'll click this button over here that says view layers. And everything that we've created so far is sitting on layer one. What we want to do now is create a separate layer for, the, for our tracing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this little plus icon to create a new layer. Uh, layer name, layer two, doesn't matter what the name is. Position above current, that does matter. So make sure it's above current and go ahead and click add. And then once we have this layer activated, I'm just gonna go to edit, paste. So we now have that heart on this top layer up here. And now I'm gonna hold shift with that selected and then click on the star graphic and just align top edges and then align left edges and then click off of it to deselect everything. And what I'm gonna do now is click on just this heart. I'm just gonna hold control and take this bottom right arrow and scale that down a little bit, maybe about that much. And what I want to do now is I'm going to go to Edit, Clone, Create Tiled Clones. And I'm just going to pull this menu out so it's a little fly-out menu. Um, what I'm going to do is go to Trace. And where it says Trace the Drawing Under the Clones slash Sprayed Items, go ahead and turn that on. Um, we want color set here. We want these both set to zero. Uh, from, the, from, the, from the number three box, uh, apply the value to the clones. Uh, deselect everything except for size. We just want size selected. And apply tiled clones to width and height. And where, where we have width and height right here, we want to copy the width and height of this star graphic and paste it in here. So we'll click on the star graphic, and you see up here the width is 418. So I'm going to select that Control-C to copy and paste that in here. Control-V to paste. And the same thing with the height. Copy and paste in the height. And then we can go ahead and click on the heart graphic right here. And once we've done that, we can go ahead and click create and just give it a second to do its thing. And if we move this out of the way, you will see we've created a halftone uh, pattern using the image beneath it as a reference point. And um, now that we've done that, we can close out of the, uh, the layers menu. We don't need that. What we have here now is I'm going to click and drag over this and zoom in on this by holding control and rolling up the mouse wheel. We have a bunch of individual little heart shapes taking the shape of a star. The only problem with this is that these are not vectors. There's no nodes here. You can't really change the color. If you try changing it to like green or blue or something, it doesn't work. These are just, they're almost like rasterized image, but not quite because you can still scale them up without losing resolution. I don't know why or how that is. I'm sure there's some explanation, but if you'd like to color them in, like you see I've done here in this thumbnail, I've, I've made them like a transition, a gradient from like pink to blue. There is a little workaround for that. So what I'm gonna do is I'll click and drag over all of that and group it together. And then I'm going to create a rectangle going over this. And this rectangle, we're gonna color this in what you want our uh, halftone pattern color to be. So I'm gonna grab the select tool and drop this to the bottom lower selection to the bottom with that button over there. And I'm going to change this to a shade of blue, maybe something like that. And under the fill tab, under the HSL tab, I'll just take this H column and slide that to the right a little bit. And I'll click on this button that says linear gradient to give that a linear gradient. I'll go to the gradient tool over here. Keyboard shortcut would be G. I'll take this stop and place this in the top left corner. I'll take this stop, put it in the bottom right corner. And with that stop selected, I'm just going to go ahead and choose like a shade of pink, maybe something like that. Now we can go back to the select tool. And once we've done that, we can click and drag over both of those objects and go to object clip set. And it's going to kind of uh, create, a, uh, it's, it's going to use this star image and color it in, fill it in with the object beneath it. So that's how we can go about coloring, coloring in our halftone design. So, and with that said, that pretty much does it for this tutorial. That's how you can create a halftone pattern using Inkscape. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.